and I got a little help over here. If all of you ladies can look for lace and cheetah, <laughs> that's the look. Hey, it's Fat Tony, and this is Thrift Hall, a competitive fashion show where two contestants compete to see who can get the better outfit on a budget. Today, we're at Goodwill Southern California. Let's take a look inside. Today's episode theme, First Pride. Our contestants will be dressing like it's their first time at a Pride Parade. Contestant number one, Freckle. Pride sponsor, Pride giver of life. Maybe you recognize me from such shows as American Idol or Caleb Gallo <coughs> or my Instagram, Aunt Freckle. Contestant number two, Jeffrey Self. Just from Aunt Freckle's Instagram. Guest judge, Miles J, will help decide who wore it best. I'm gay. Our contestants will go head to head for two rounds, a shopping spree and a competitive fashion show. But that's not all. The winner gets to pick an outfit for the loser to wear and they gotta post it to their Instagram and it cannot be deleted. I didn't know that rule. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win? You have no idea what we're doing, so I do think I probably yeah. have the most likely <laughs> chances of winning. Your freckle always loses. Second runner up. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get up in the morning and say, God damn it, at least I woke up. That's Where it. I woke up, different story, but we don't have time for that. What are you hoping to find for your first pride look? Do you have a strategy? So looking for <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, that is a pride strategy, yeah. when you think yeah. about is it. Is that was the question? The main pride strategy. I think that my strategy is to win. <laughs> She's here to win, honey. This isn't RuPaul's best friend race. I am not here to make friends. <laughs> Ready for round one? You got to have friends. <laughs> Shopping spree. Couple things. The main reason I need to win is because I feel like if I don't, Freckle's going to use Freckle's Instagram to really try and make it all about her. And frankly, my only strategy is to just sit back and let Freckle crumble. Jeffrey Self, you up first. Any final words? I'm just really ready to change your life. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Am I actually going? Go! Okay, great, I'm actually going! Okay, great, okay, wait. I, you okay. got two minutes! I, I got that! You have to shout at me. He's so cute. Oh, that's all I gotta say. Okay, we're gonna do these, because that's elastic, and elastic is very, very, we like elastic. He put white shorts in there. <laughs> Big no-no. It's gonna get messy at Pride. You're probably gonna vomit. Jeffrey Self, you got one minute, 30 Take seconds. Out. Don't f up. One minute is, oh my god, this is really ticking by. I went to Pride once wearing little red shorts and got my dick sucked. Just oh. get some red shorts, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay. Ooh, oh. that was that was fresh. Oh. Bitch stole my luck. Got a little oh, Karma oh, San Diego oh, oh, vibe. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely this. Definitely these. Uh, how much time do I have? You have 30, 50 oh seconds. God. 30, 50 seconds? That's not a real number. Girl, you know what I meant. No, so, I just broke a hanger. I broke a hanger. Oh, my first time at Pride, I got a seconds. ticket for jaywalking that I never paid for and oddly disappeared. 30 seconds! I will say this is like one of the most nicely laid out Goodwills I've ever been in. Like, this looks better than, you know, the Barneys in Beverly Hills. 10, 9, 8, 7, seven just in case. 6, 5, 4, 3, I'm good. 2, I'm good. I feel pretty good about my options, to be honest. Let's see what Jeff yourself comes up with. I'm excited, and also gay. Um, I got a lot of jackets, to be honest, a lot of summer jackets. Definitely a color palette theme going on. We're talking tans, we're talking some beige. A lot of people wear like really skimpy things to pride, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Maybe I could reveal, you know, a little nothing underneath, like maybe a flasher vibe. A lot of khaki, a lot of khaki. But pride's in June, so. Summer colors. I feel pretty confident about my choices and I'm prepared to win. Jeffrey Self, not as sloppy as I thought. What do y'all think? Khaki, not tacky. I love the trench. Trench was very cute. I love his plan of revealing his dick with it. Uh, True. He stayed in his little section, you know, didn't waste a lot of time and just picked, you know, some things that he knew he could work. Jeffrey Self has some nice pants in there too. You see? He sure does. Um, a couple different options. And it's pride. He could have gone typical and sparkly and faggy. But he didn't. He kept it centered and grounded and ready for a Nora Ephron film. That's my baby. I'm sorry. I should go get that. I thought it was a parrot. Why am I going to win? Because I'm a winner. And my mommy always told me, Jesus loves a winner. 
You don't go lash and stash to go to lose. <laughs> I got all the goods in my breast. Keep abreast of events. See you at the finish line, said the hare to the tortoise. All right, Jeffrey Self did his mother thing. Now it's time for Freckle. Freckle, you got two minutes on the clock. You ready? Yep. Go! Come on! Oh, I like those. Very Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. I hope this covers my pussy. I hope so, too. I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a little help over here. If all of you ladies can look for lace and cheetah. <laughs> That's the look. Fur in July, like Sharon Stone. She's always helping with the virus. Fur? Gonna regret that in the sun. Damn, a varsity jacket. Customer service or a friend? Anyone. I can't hit it all. Freckle, you got one minute. The police have been called. She's grabbed a rug. I repeat, she's grabbed a rug. God, I can't. Damn. Freckle, 45 seconds. And she suplexed the rug into the cart, bitch. I'm a fan of the snacks. Did I get a friend with some lace or cheetah? She's been asking for help for like five minutes now. I think the more she asks for help, the less likely it is she's gonna be. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and... Let's see what you got. When I go to Pride, I like to roll out on a carpet. Since we're on the theme of Santa Monica Boulevard, tangerine. You can never get enough sparkles. The origin of the name Freckle is if you look at the sky at night, a freckle in space is a star. It's Buddhist. The look this season is cheetah and lace. But I quote Sharon Stone, who wears full fur in July. You know how much I do for the virus. And by that I mean the HIV virus, because it's pride. Get tested, I do, with a swab. Put a letterman on lace, that's the new look. Comes through me, source. Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Look at these fancy pants, Freddie Mercury. My mom's like her spaniel. Leather, you know, just kind of like a beady beady bum bum. Half Mexican over here. Prize possession, the Salina Como Le Flor number, which is just, ay, ay, ay. And I was hoping this would cover my pussy. Freckle, what the f are y'all's thoughts? Have you ever lived through a hurricane? Because I feel like I have now. <laughs> so much animal print. <laughs> a lot of animal print, a lot of animal fur. She's like, listen, we've got cheetah print, lace, screamed it out into the universe, and the universe gave it back to her. I don't think this is the first time Freckle has screamed at the top of her lungs inside of a Goodwill. Look at her going to town. The carpet, more. Such a helper. I'm curious as to what she's going to actually pick out of all that, because Same. Freckle kind of like entered into the game. Just use the word blindly. I don't know what the f to expect either. She's definitely gonna look like a cheetah. Freckle, Jeffrey Self, it's time to model. Get your ass in the dressing room. Get ready for the runway. Walk. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I need to consider picking up a new profession because this looks are like so good. Single-handedly, I found the look of summer. In two minutes, <laughs> check off like Chekhovy in 1800 with like that fake fur for that boogie nights, kind of just cocaine. Can actually we make sure none of all of this gets touched? Because I actually want to just buy all this. I'm gonna let them choose me. Have another Dorito. What's up world? The bitch is back. We're in the fashion portion of the program today. Freckle is up first. PA, can we get that rug out here? Top, top! Thank you so much. Wait, it's not all the way out. You might just have to hold it. You, just... you know what? Just turn it over. <laughs> there thank we go. You, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Freckle, let's see what you got. Ooh. What we're working with here is lace, letterman, and leopard. I live. Do you get the alliteration? I do. Just a real Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if you know what I mean. Can't get that off, that's fine. Can we get a twirl? Ouch, ouch. Oh, <laughs> Breathe, ouch. sister. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, walk for me. A 
reveal. Ooh, ooh, everything's coming off. Oh my God, yes. That was daytime to nighttime. What inspired you for this um, ensemble? It came to me, it came through me, it came from source. I'm coming with stash and lash. And how are the shoes? You know, I don't even feel my feet anymore. Now I could just do the Charleston. Oh, and this. I hope my pussy's not showing. Oh no, she's not, but it's definitely Is close enough. I quote Cheka, there are many years ahead of us. A long line of days, each filled with my love for you. I'm speechless. Thank you, Freckle. Let's see Jeffrey. Jeffrey, to the floor. Oh, here we go. See? Okay. Barefoot uh -huh. Contessa over here. Huh. Yes. Huh. Eyes about to stream down the Mississippi River. <laughs> Give it to me, Huckleberry. Walk, 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 walk. Stern. Walk, 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 walk. Stop. That's it. iconic. Infectious smile. I know, I love the energy. I feel a little flirtatious. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I can just put any instrument into your hand and you'd know how to play it. I will say I was going for like Diane Keaton at her first gay pride, but then when I got into the dressing room, A, I realized I didn't get a shirt or shoes. However, now I'm sort of like, like gay porn Tom Sawyer. The exposed chest really gives it um, some definition and some depth. And then also the high-waisted covers up my belly. Sort of like works as like a spank built in where it's just like pushing it all down. Also I've got this mic strap that's just holding it all in. There is a lot going on but it's tucked away in behind the scenes. So you executed this flawlessly I think. Yet again, speechless. Thank you Jeffrey. Thank you. So Miles, be honest. Yes. Cut the All right. What do you think? Freckle. I love the story behind Freckle's outfit. She had a clear vision. This bitch came to win. Maria, and Maria needs to get her ass to production. <laughs> I love Freckle's outfit. I love the carpet. I love how she used some of our show's staff to roll the carpet out. Right. There, that was a production. I love how the shoes didn't fit, yet she's still warm. Mm -hmm. I will say the Letterman jacket even though it was an extra L, I think that was an L. She needed to L the L. More seductive for that. I love the idea of a reveal mm -hmm. because I'm gay. I love reveal parties except for gender reveals. Jeffrey Self. Jeffrey Self. I'm actually totally into the Huckleberry Finn. Just put a banjo in his hand and I'll call him daddy. There can only be one winner. Mm, for me, it's definitely gonna have to be Freckle. I felt like I was watching a story unravel in front of my eyes. Jeffrey's outfit was cute, mm. but she seemed a little unprepared, a little rocky, you know? And I just felt like there could have been a little bit more story. He was Diane Keaton, but turned into Barefoot Contessa. First time at Pride, I think you gotta make a big impression, which Freckle did. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Self's outfit felt more like Ninth Time at Pride. You know, we were yes. more relaxed, casual, mm -hmm. used to it, kind of over it. Mm -hmm. I think we decided, let's get the contestants out here. Contestants! Hey. Hey. You look, you look really nice. Thank you. What were you doing in there? I don't wanna know. Oh. There can only be one winner. We loved both outfits. Loved them both. Freckle, the game is yours. Oh, you really, I had a feeling. You deserved it. You've won a bag of Doritos. Congrats. The winner gets to choose an outfit for the loser that they must take a pic of, put it on their Instagram, and it could not be deleted. And I found the perfect look for you. Oh, yes. First Blanche, time at Pride. Blanche Devereaux coming out to play. Let's uh, see how much of my body this covers up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's yeah. not bad. I honestly think, A, it's better than what I picked out, so thank you. And B, I think if you saw a picture of this, you would just be like, oh, he's the dancer for the American Ballet. Thank you, Freckle, for making my Pride fantasies a reality. Oh boy. That's not even how you do it. 
you like their tall, follow our show page. Thanks to Jeffrey, Miles, and Freckle for f***ing with us today. Let me know in the comments what the next episode's theme should be. Beach Day, 4th of July Parade Float, Hottest Neighbor at the Block Party, or Summer School. Thrift Hall, we out of here. So I lost. My Diane Keaton's first Gay Pride meets Gay Porn Tom Sawyer did not necessarily work. Hence why I'm wearing this. At first when I saw it, I thought this is gonna be really bad. But then when I put it on, I was like, there you are, Jeffrey. I've been looking for you. And the only reason why you lost is because you can't beat a trans woman. Right, Caitlin? <laughs>